So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a really quick look at how you can get the length of an array in JavaScript. And I'll show you something interesting about that in just a second. But for those who don't know, to get the length of an array in JavaScript, uh, we simply access an array that we have already set up. Uh, it can be via a variable or via the array itself. And to actually access its length, there's a property on the array that we can just access, which unsurprisingly is just called length. And as you can see, the value that it gives us back is the number of items that we've got in the array. So why might you want to know that? Well, first of all, it's useful to display information to the user about how many items there might be in an array. For example, if it's the number of posts or number of comments that have been retrieved from somewhere. Uh, but also you might use the length property within a for loop, something like this, for example. So you might have uh, a simple for loop set up like this that you're going to loop through each of the items uh, whilst the uh, value that's stored in i is less than length. And so if we do something like this, we can log out all of the items uh, by referencing the array uh, by that index property. So just a simple example, but just to illustrate why it's important to know the length property. So one interesting thing that you might not know about the length property is that you can actually assign a value to it as well. So for example, here, instead of accessing the array.length property and just displaying it on the console, we could actually set it to a specific value. So if I set it to zero, for example, you can see that the array length property is now returning zero on the console on the right hand side and the for loop doesn't actually run. So you can actually modify the number of items that the array knows about uh, by updating its length property. Uh, so for example, we've just set that to two. Uh, you can see we get the first two items in the for loop. So it's probably not recommended to do this because obviously it makes it a bit confusing in your code because you're updating uh, an array that has a certain number of values and, and kind of truncating it, like removing the uh, items past a certain point. And it is destructive, so if you have a look at the array uh, down here, you can see we've only got the first two items in there. So something to be aware of, uh, it can be done, but maybe it's not a good idea to do it, uh, simply because it can cause confusion within your code. So you go, there's the array length property in JavaScript and how you can access it and indeed set it if you wish to. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.